to our very last story for the, the day, which is with regards to voters and voting in 2019. Barely 162 days to the commencement of the 2019 general elections, registered voter population has now hit 84.27 million, according to the latest statistics released by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Chukudi, is this good news? Well, it's good news because of Nigeria's 198 million um, population, you have 84 million registered voters. To a considerable degree, it shows that, you know, a lot of people want to participate in the process. And that's the very essence of democracy, where it is, you know, popular participation and people coming out to exercise their rights. But We've there is a, a problem. A over 100 million opportunities for people no, to rig. there is a problem. The problem is, when we look at the figures, you know, of people that come out on election day, in the previous elections, Going back to 1999, that's what I was going to say. Vis-a-vis -vis the registered um, voters or the people that have been captured in the voters' register at the time, you become worried. For example, in 2015, it was close to 70 million, mm -hmm. but the number of people that eventually decided the election—15 million plus for President Mohamed Buhari, 12 million plus for Good Luck Ebele Jonathan, less than 30 million. Now, when you look at close to 70 million and less than 30 million, you become worried. But we can take solace in the fact that if you look at Nigeria's population demographics, over 60% are 30 years and below. Perhaps these people are interested in charting a course for their future. And you can't and they are you're gone 18. Out to register. Now, what we, will, what we should do now is embark on an aggressive campaign to let Nigerians know that you have a voice. And your voice would play a very critical role in deciding your future. Now, this is not the time to say, I've never voted in any election. There are people who say so. I've never voted in, in any election because I know how they do it. I know who will win. This is the time to correct or change the narrative. And how do we do so? It is not going to happen overnight, but it will happen. It is going to be an evolution over time. But it can only happen if you play your part. And how do you play your part? Satisfy your conscience. The Constitution guarantees your right to franchise to vote, suffrage to stand and be voted for in elections. Never again should we allow people who have no business in government to preside over the administrative affairs of our country. I cannot for the life of me believe that for 19 years of uninterrupted democratic rule, Nigeria is not yet El Dorado. Nigeria should be the promised land, the, the biblical or proverbial promised land, because God has blessed us with abundant human and natural resources. All that we need to do is explore the tremendous potential of our great country. But we have failed. Why? Because we have had managers who have no business in government. These people are just concerned about their pockets and the future of their generation. And we have had a people who feel that, you know, irrespective of how difficult or tough the situation is, they are going to survive. And these statistics of Nigeria has been, you know, we rank, you know, high. When we look at countries that are, or, uh, people that are tolerant, so irresponsibility is not helping us at all. At all, it isn't. This is the time for us to say, no, I cannot just watch my parents suffer, struggle to send their children to school, you know, pay through their nose, and when it's time for them to enjoy, they are not paid their pension. We begin to crowdsource, to fund uh, uh, health care. People come on social media to beg, it's, it's just very, so that they can eat. It's very obvious that we need to see a change in 2019. And I'm very, I'm very glad that you've mentioned the fact that it's not enough for us to ensure that we get our PVCs. Now that we have a figure of the number of people that have gotten their PVCs, it's not as encouraging as it should be. We had hoped that more people would have registered. However, what we must now push for is to ensure that everybody who has gotten their temporary PVC not only stops there, they get their permanent, P their permanent voter's card, rather, and then at the end of the day, they go out to vote. So if you've not gotten your permanent voter's card, you have your temporary voter's card, please ensure that you get it before 2019. Um, the um, chairman of INEC has said that they're reassuring Nigerians that every registered voter will have his or her PVC available for collection before the general elections. And they further disclose that the collection of PVCs will continue until one week to the 2019 general election. So for those who want to do intrastate and interstate transfers, now is the time to start working on all of that. Let's not wait for the last minute. We have a last minute syndrome in Nigeria. Let's not always wait for the last minute before we decide to get our PVCs. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank Should you very much, thank ladies. You. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.